Hey guys, I'm back with another video and for today's video we are creating this berry and pink look. I'm starting off with primer and this is the yellow correcting primer by NYX. And for my foundation, I'm using this foundation stick by Tom Ford and I'm applying that all over my face. By the way you guys, Sephora is really testing your girl. I'm over here waiting for my Fenty collection to get here. And it's still not here, I'm really mad about that. So Sephora, I ain't playing with you. You better get my order here really quick. Anyways, I'm moving on with my concealer. This is the Yellow Correcting Concealer by LA Pro. And I'm just using this to cover up some dark spots that I still have peeking through my foundation. And I'm just blending that in with a wet beauty sponge. And for my normal concealer to hide some dark circles that I have under my eyes and stuff, I'm using the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. And yeah, me being clumsy as always, I dropped it on my bat rope. But anyways, I'm just blending that in with a buffing brush and also with a wet beauty sponge. When my stuff gets here, guys, I will find a very fun way to make a cool video with it. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, I'm moving on with setting. I'm using the W7 setting powder and I'm just gonna set everywhere where I applied my concealer. With the MAC Studio Fix Setting Powder in the shade NC44.5, I am setting the rest of my face and also using that to dust away the excess banana powder that I use. Also, let me know in the comments down below, guys, which videos you would like to see the next season because fall is officially here. But moving on to the brows, I'm using the Eyelore Eyebrow Pomade and I'm just shaping and filling in my eyebrows. And this is the reason you guys why I am always late and why it takes me so long to get ready. <laughs> Anyways, I'm moving on to cleaning up my eyebrows like everybody and their mama and I'm using the Cool Tan Concealer by LA Pro that I also use for my under eyes and then I'm blending that out with a beauty sponge and setting a base for my eyeshadows with the Painterly Paint Pop by MAC and then I'm gonna go in with the Naked palette I'm using the shade Naked in my crease as a transition kind of color and just blending that out with a blend blending brush blending brush I mean and then I'm going to go over that with a buck also by the Naked Palette number 1 and blending that in with the same brush. Then an extra color, I'm using Toasted and I'm blending that in as well, very surprising, with the same brush. Anyways, moving on, I'm using the color Porter by Colourpop for my eyelids and I'm using this spongy applicator thingy to apply it to my eyelids. The color payoff was not the best, so I decided to also go in with a little bit of setting spray to make the color appear a little bit better. So here or here, no, 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 no. Soon you will see me spritz some of that, yeah here, you will see me spritz some of that on the applicator and then going in with that color a little bit more. For the brow bone, I'm just using some highlighter and then for my eyeliner, I'm going to do a simple, simple little line just to cover up the lash band from my eyelashes and I'm just using this pair from my local beauty supply store and just applying them with a lash applicator. To connect the bottom part of my eye, I'm using Fantasy by Colourpop and I'm just applying that a little bit under my eye, connecting it to the bottom, the bottom, the top part I mean. And then I'm coating my lashes with a layer of mascara. I'm so sorry you guys, I feel like this voiceover is all over the place, so I am so sorry. It's just one of them days where I can't find any words, I'm so sorry guys. Anyways, I'm going back to their inner tear dot with the color Sin from the Naked Palette number one and then the eyes are done. 
moving on to lips I'm using this very interesting combination that my sister told me about and it's really bomb you guys it is the matte heroin lipstick by Mac in combination with the NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade bustier oh my god that was a lot of words I almost messed up again but just apply this all over the lips and make sure they look nice and pretty. And then the face is done. It's time to do my hair. I chose this little pineapple situation. And yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys!